Dante, missed a lot of games here recently. Coach says you're on track to play on Friday. How are you feeling? I feel good. Um, scrimmage today. Um, been doing my conditioning and building up, and I feel good. So the plan is to play Friday. What did you think watching that road trip from afar? It was frustrating not being with the guys. Um, I knew selfishly it was the best thing for me to do to get back on the court, but um, I'm all about kind of everybody being together. Um, so that was frustrating, but um, to be able to be in a group chat text-wise, try to figure some things out. And also, you know, the leadership, you know, from staff is to get a perspective from the outside. If meaning from the outside, like I'm on my couch at home, so I'm watching as a fan. Um, and I think that's great. Um, and to hear everybody's opinion and everything like that moving forward, as long as we're on the same page, I think, you know, things like that happen. It's a lot, um, you know, losing streaks happen, winning streaks happen. Um, it's a long season. And, you know, once I got back, I told them they were grateful to see me. I was extremely grateful to see them. Um, and just the energy was, it was great when they got back. Could there, because you are new to this team, could yeah. there be a benefit of, of having a little bit time just to observe and see patterns, observe exactly what's going right, what's going wrong, areas you could maybe help? Yeah, when you, when you watch the game um, and you're not getting in, and honestly, when you watch the game on TV and film, um, it's a lot easier to see things than it is to when, the, when you're in the game, things are moving quick. Um, so, yeah, it really slows down for me watching it. I get to see where guys like the ball. I can see where I can take opportunities to be aggressive. Um, and you can see certain breakdowns on, on the defensive end. Um, I think they stand out a little bit more on TV and on film like that. Uh, so you never want to do it while you're hurt, um, and you want to kind of go on the fly. But I think it was a blessing in disguise for me that, you know, I get to, like you said, I'm new. I get to, to learn from afar and then implement what I'm picking up. How do you think that you could help someone like Jordan in the second unit? You know, he's kind of in this new role, navigating, playing with a lot of young players. Obviously, you're more of a veteran and someone who can play on and off the ball. But do you, how do you think that your experience as someone on the ball could help him get his scoring going? You know, just, just letting, uh, first of all, letting it come to us, not forcing it. Um, I'm not going to come in here and just try to be a hero on Friday night. Just coming in with that second unit and just, you know, letting Jordan get back to kind of his – let his mind be free. Let him go out there and do his thing. Um, kind of for me to just keep the offense moving, keep it, you know, facilitate everything. And then when it comes back to JP, he doesn't have so much pressure to initiate everything and then try to be aggressive and score the ball. Um, take a little bit of that load off of him. Um, run things from, you know, get people in the right positions. And then when it comes back to him, he can just boogie and do his thing. Was Jay Wright big on plus minus at Villanova? No. No, nah, it was if we win, we win. If we lose, then that's on everybody. Um, but I didn't really know what plus minus was until I got in the league. And what have you learned about that stat or its relevance since you've been in the league? Um, I mean, when I have a high plus minus, I love it. When I have a low one, I don't believe in it. <laughs> no, but I think the you know the game basketball is a game of runs uh, first and foremost. But I think if you break it down, um, our second unit. Um, in my eyes, and I think our team's eyes, is when the starters go out and that second unit comes out, uh, forget the plus minus. We need to take the energy to another level, um, not just you know hold what the starters, because we're getting off to good starts. Um, we got to take it to a whole nother level. So when they come back in, they can just blow it open. Um, and we're not doing that right now. Um, the energy, I think that's, a, if you could somehow put a plus minus on energy, that's, that's what is the real thing for me. Um, so. My focus coming in on Friday is have a plus minus in the energy and, and be really uh, high on that end. How important, like you've been on several different teams, but how important is it to have like an engaged bench that's, you know, celebrating at, during the game or like after the game? You know, it's different with the, you know, the new rules, like you got to be on the ground, you got to be on the bench and everything that it, 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 you don't think about it. And then you're watching the game, I'm like, why is nobody kind of standing up? Um, so I think you push the limits a little bit. Um, make them call, you show that energy, show that enthusiasm, show the support for your teammates while you're on the court. Because I really do think when you're on the court and you know swing, 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 and your whole bench stands up on the shot, there's a is an energy thing to it. Um, 
So we, I think we should get back to that. Um, and I think the guys on the bench will get back to that. And just having that, that love and support of, you know, the next man um, knocking down the shot, the next man making a play and being supportive of that, I think that's, that's a step in the right direction for us. I know this is a little bit random, but just to get to know you better, what's your favorite book? Oh, I do not read. I'm being completely honest. I do not read. Um, but um, my agent gave me a book. Wow, you put me on the spot, and I forget the name. Atomic Habits. Um, it's the last book I've read, and it was, a, it was a while since I read any other book, but uh, that's, that's my favorite book. <laughs> What's it about? What's the takeaway? It's all about, like, basically the small habits and leading into big changes in your life. Um, you can't, you know, make all the changes in your life to become what you want to do um, all in one day. It's about the small things, about your perspective, about your mind frame every single day. And um, I use that to basketball, how to approach every single day. Um, and I kind of refer to, like, baseball, trying to hit singles every day rather than just come, coming in and trying to hit a home run. Um, you just hit singles, hit singles, and, and in the long run, we'll get there. And as a team, I think that's where we're at. Um, I don't think we need to come in and, you know, try to win by 30. Um, I think we come in and grind every day, and then in the long run, I think we'll be where we need to be. So, Dante, there's no chance you're part of a book club or starting <laughs> one here? <laughs> no shot. No shot. Um, with regards to Steph, what have you learned about his leadership and how impressed were you when he what he did with all of it on the line to kind of get you guys back in the flow of what you need to be? You know, I played with a really dominant, great leader in Milwaukee, in Giannis. Um, and coming here, obviously hearing a bunch about Steph, he's really shocked me um, in terms of like actually how down to earth as a person, down to earth as a leader and as a basketball player and just how damn good he is. Um, and I think that's what I knew. I, I had a certain level of expectation, and he blew that out the water. Um, and also I think the greatest thing is about him on the court and off the court, um, he's always willing to listen. Um, and I think that's what makes him such a, a good leader and such a good player because obviously he knows other people see different things. Um, and he can blow you off at any time, but he doesn't. And I think that's the biggest thing as a leader that's important. You're returning to what looks like it's going to be a very different second unit than the one um, that you last were with. What what are you, what's kind of your views of of I guess the the different group you're returning to? Focus on what I what I can focus on is my energy, my defense, and making sure you know playing with JP in that second unit is trying to get back to get him back to where he he was <laughs> busting my ass last year doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Um, I want him mind completely, you know, free and just out there hooping. And um, I try to do anything I possibly can to settle that second unit down and just, you know, when the starters come back in, like I said, they take it to a whole nother level. Uh, you mentioned that Steph has had a down-to-earth approach to leadership. Uh, what specifically, if you can share, did he, was his message to you guys or what, what sort of surprised you the most about the way that he approached this, this rough start? I think it's just his, his demeanor. Um, he never gets rattled. Um, he's out there, you know, having fun. Um, he has a joy for the game, and also he wants to see everybody around him succeed. Um, and I think the greatest thing is he holds everybody accountable. There's plays where, you know, he's getting on Clay, he's getting on Draymond. Um, it's not just getting on the young guys. Um, and he also gets on himself. I think that's, that's, that's huge is when you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, I messed up. Um, and that, like I said, he's just down to earth. It's simple as that. 